Good day, my name is Dr. Matthew Bonney. I'm one of the lead developers on DTOP Cristallo, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install and run DTOP Cristallo. So you're gonna need two main things in order to run it. First, you'll need an installation of Python, which you can find that fairly easily. And the other one is Git. So Git is our version control and distribution software that we use. It's open source, it's free, and it's able to make sure that all changes are being tra tracked and accounted for. And so once you have both those installed, the first thing we need to do is to download DTOP Cristallo. And so in order to do that, we first we go to the GitHub repository page. And so that's here at this URL. And then if you plan to do any development, we highly recommend you create a personal fork. And this personal fork is essentially it's a local version just for you that doesn't get uploaded to the global or to the public repository, just to your own personal one that we can then merge into it later on if we've deemed your contributions safe and acceptable. So in order to do that, you go through fork and then create your own personal fork and it'll save it to your own personal account. With that, or if you're just trying to run it, um, either way, go into code and then look at this HTTPS. So that's the information that we need to gather. And so we're gonna copy that and use that for actually cloning the repository. So then I need to go to the command prompt. I'm using Anaconda because I'm based in Windows. And so the method to do this is all going to be very similar to all the other all the other operating systems, Linux, Mac. We've tested it on all of them. However, some of the actual syntax is going to be slightly different. And so the ones that we've tested are available on the README file. So if you're using some other operating system or a non-Anaconda Windows, such as PowerShell, that'd be the way to do it. And all that information is available there. And so first thing we need to do is we need to enter in the directory that we want to install DTOP Cristallo into. Once we ins are inside the directory that we want to install to, we can double check and make sure that we have Git and Python installed correctly. So we can look at Python version. So I'm running Python 3.8.5. And I can look at the Git version. So I'm using 2.28. And so this ensures that I have both Git and Python installed and it's accessible through this command prompt. And so what we need to do is we need to clone the repository. So cloning is what we call when we create a local version of it. And so we do git clone and then the HTTPS that we copied from the URL. And so this will download Cristallo and store it on your personal computer. And so this takes about 30 seconds or so to run. And so now if we look at the directory, we see we have a Cristallo folder. Uh, we can then go into the Cristallo folder, and we can see all the information and all the inner workings of DTOP Cristallo. So once we have this fully downloaded onto our local machine, we then need to create a virtual environment, um, which is a way to segregate or create like a Docker-like system that we can install certain libraries in and not affect the global installation of Python. Now that the virtual environment is created, we then need to enter the virtual environment. And so for Anaconda, this is how it's done. However, for each operating system, it will be very different. And so now we are in the virtual environment. We can tell this by this VENV at the very beginning of the line. And so now that we're in the virtual environment, we need to install the dependencies of DDoP Cristallo. And so we are using pip in order to do this. And so there are four main dependencies for DDoP Cristallo. That is Flask, SciPy, Plotly and WT forms. And so this will download and install these different scientific libraries, and this will take a couple minutes to do. So after a few minutes, we now have everything fully installed. And so here we can see that's successfully installed everything. If there's any failures, first thing I'd recommend is to update your pip. As you see here, I have a slightly outdated version pip. However, everything was able to be installed, so that's fine. If you have a super old version, then you might have some issues. But now that we have everything installed, now we can actually start running Flask, which is the server we use in order to broadcast our Python scripts into HTML. With Windows commands, we are setting the Flask app to the Python script called run.py. And then to activate that, we just have to type in Flask run. And so this will create a WSGI server that we can that is available only to your personal computer. So even though it is a server, it's only available to you. And so here we can see this is the URL that it is located at. And so we can either type that in directly, or this is also called the local host. And so here we're able to go to DTOP Cristallo in our regular internet browser. 
And so here we can go and search through different things. If you're looking at particular documentation, if you want to look at certain individual modules that we've created, whether it's things like design uncertainty, uncertainty propagation, or if you have a local install of Abacus, we can do a finite element simulation. And so here you can start fiddling around and looking at what these simulations are able to provide and how they interact with each other and how we're able to actually use the internet browser to perform our digital twin operations.